Good evening. Nick Dixon is off tonight. While the Ontario government digs its way out from a crushing deficit, their efforts are being undermined by those selling illegal cigarettes. It's a big problem with a big price tag, but as Melanie Ng reports tonight, there are some that are questioning whether the province is doing enough. Ontario is losing at least half a billion dollars in taxes per year because of illegal tobacco sales. And more than 25% of tobacco sold in Ontario is contraband. Within the last month, the OPP conducted blitzes between Caledonia and Hagersville, resulting in the seizure of 135,000 illegal cigarettes and four charges by special investigations. But what about those selling the products? If they stop uh, um, people from actually buying the cigarettes, maybe it will make some of the cigarette uh, shops close, but it's not getting to the root of the problem. Two of the shops that are currently operating are actually sitting on land owned by the province, and nothing has been done to close them. There's no other jurisdiction anywhere else in the world that would tolerate that kind of tax evasion and uh, lawlessness. Premier Dalton McGuinty believes targeting buyers is the right approach. Right, if there was no, if there were no shoppers for illegal cigarettes, it wouldn't be an issue. But we have people uh, who, living, who are living off reserves who are shopping for illegal cigarettes. Uh, and uh, we have to find a way to continue to impress upon them that what they're doing is, is wrong. Both of the smoke shops exist right off of Highway 6. One right over here and actually one right around the bend in the distance along this way. Now, according to one smoke shop worker, he's just making a living on land that doesn't belong to the provincial government. Is this considered provincial land? Not here. Because of land claims, Derek Sandy says the smoke shop sits on land belonging to Six Nations. Um, tobacco is like one of our original products, and so we're just making the cigarettes and selling them. Yeah. You know, just. So you guys aren't doing anything wrong? Well, we're not doing nothing wrong. Tax revenues aside, some groups are outraged with the government's lack of action when it comes to health concerns. 30% of Ontario teens smoked contraband tobacco in 2009, a 4% jump from the previous year. To back away from it in the face uh, of a concern about the First Nations reaction is simply to guarantee another generation of ill health and uh, excessive health care costs and addicted kids. Melanie Ng, CHCH News, Caledonia.